We're home a little early tonight, I hope you don't mind. Of course she doesn't mind. There was a big fuss at the movie we went to. Some old guy had a heart attack or something right in the middle of the picture. They had to stop the show, call an ambulance over and rush him to the hospital. Needless to say, the audience wasn't too keen on seeing the movie after that. So they gave us a free ticket and popcorn voucher for next time. Leave it to some old guy with a heart condition to mess everything up. Whew. How are you? How are the kids? Sleeping? They didn't give you too much trouble. Kristen, is something wrong? Honey, is everything okay? Are, are the kids okay? Something happened to the kids. Kristen, what happened? Oh my god, you're shaking. Tell me the kids are okay. Tell me you're okay. Kristen, look at me. What happened? Oh, the kids are fine. <laughs> They're both kept in and fast asleep. The nightlight is on. No windows appear to be broken. And the house shows no sign of intrusion. Kristen, what's wrong? Are you alright? Did someone call or try to enter the house while we were gone? What's going on? What do you mean? Where am I? What's happening? John, she has amnesia. Kristen, how many fingers am I holding up? How many fingers do you see, Kristen? Who are you people and how do you know my name? Come on, Kristen, it's me, Patty, and this is John. You know us. How did I get here? Calm down a minute, dear. Did you hit your head or something? <coughs> what are you looking for, dear? What's wrong with your house? Wrong with our house? There are only three sides. Oh, you don't mean the, and the fourth wall. It's just like a big black nothing. Kristen? And there are no kids over there at all. That part of the house doesn't lead anywhere. It's nothing. And I don't even know you. And I don't know how I got here or what's going on. I think I can explain. Would anyone like some tea? Chamomile, thank you. Kristen? <laughs> no, thank you. I'll make you some anyway in case you change your mind. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen, take a seat. See, Kristen, right now you're in a play. A one act, to be specific. <laughs> that part of the house doesn't lead anywhere because it's what's called off stage. <laughs> and there's no wall over there because that's the audience. <laughs> no, no, Kristen. Never look at the audience. <laughs> you don't want to break the fourth wall. See, this is supposed to be a dramatic play, which means you should always keep the audience completely separate. Now, if this were a comedy, or some sort of abstract performance art piece, <laughs> you might have some more freedom, but not in this one act. The tea is on the stove. It'll be ready in a few minutes. Wonderful. I was just explaining to Kristen about the fourth wall. Ah, yes. Never break the fourth wall. Always face it, but never break it. Is any of this sounding familiar? You people are crazy. I'm leaving. Ah, uh, you can't leave. We're in the middle of a scene. Watch me. <laughs> What should we do? I don't know, it's her line. <laughs> well, so? How's that tea coming along? Oh, you know, watch partner boils. <laughs> that door doesn't lead anywhere. Yes, obviously. There were just a bunch of people wearing all black. They looked at me like I was nuts. And some woman wearing a headset yelled at me to come back here. Yes, don't upset Sue. She's got enough to worry about back there. Okay, I just don't get it. Let's work on character. Kristen, who are you? Well, um, I... Where were you before this scene started? Did you have a good childhood? How do you really know us? All of these answers can and should change the way you're acting right now. I... I don't know. All right. Now I think we're getting to the root of our problem. Let's start easy. Kristen, you are a babysitter. I am. Yes. And you've been employed by us, John and Patty, to babysit our two children, Chris and Sam. Sam is a girl. Yes, Sam is a girl. And you've been hired to babysit Chris and Sam while we went out to see a movie. But there are no kids over there. Uh, forget about that. They're off stage and they're sleeping. Please, let's try to keep the realism here. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's dive deeper. What was your childhood like? Good, I guess. Don't just make stuff up. This information is very important to the one act. It will affect the way that you behave. You didn't have a good childhood, in fact. It was very dramatic. It was? By golly, it certainly was. <gasps> Don't you remember, Tony? You still have newspaper clippings of the incident tucked in a small box in the back of your bottom desk drawer underneath some old magazines. Every night you pull it out and read them over and over again. You know them all by heart. But honestly, dear, it's held you back. You don't have any real friends. Oh, it's terrible, really. Yes, quite. In the incident. What incident? Why, only the biggest thing that happened in the entire history of this small town. The most gruesome murder in the entire state. Who was murdered? It's okay. I'll tell her. Honey? Your parents 
are both dead. What? Murdered. Both of them two years ago today, actually, and they never caught the killer. You were in the house, asleep when it happened. You heard screaming, but were too afraid to go see what was happening. After the noise stopped, you walked into your parents' room to find both of them. Well, you get the idea. That's terrible. Yes, but don't worry, honey. You're safe now. Safe now? Why would you say that? Is there a chance that I'm not safe? You did say the killer was never caught. Yes, but I just remembered something. The last thing I heard before I ran into my parents' room was a man yell, I know you're in there. We'll come for you later. How is that supposed to make me safe? We'll protect you from harm. As long as you're here, you're safe. And congratulations on getting into character. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if I take a look at your necklace? What, this? Why? What is it? Is it some sort of key? I don't know. <laughs> Let me take a look. Wait, who are you two again? Huh? <laughs> oh, you know, just your average family, just you and daddy. Nothing strange here. Yes, you're perfectly safe. I collect antique jewelry, that's all, and that is a beautiful necklace. You have nothing to worry about. You're safe here. You keep saying that. I'm safe. What's going on? What's your history prior to this scene? Do you think we should tell her? I'm afraid we have to. I mean, she's supposed to figure it out on her own, but... I don't think she's fully capable of that yet. I agree. Kristen? My name is Patty Smith. I was born in the basement of a crack house. <laughs> <laughs> my mother is a prostitute, and I have no idea who my biological father is. Probably some good-for-nothing junkie locked away from life behind bars. My mother was beaten to death by a client when I was five, and her pimp took me under his wing. <laughs> I was homeschooled until I ran away at 16, and I lived on the streets until I was 18. When I fell in love and married an older man who worked near the corner where I used to beg for change and cry. Needless to say, <laughs> things didn't work out because he's a bastard! <laughs> but that marriage did get me off the street and able to stand on my own two feet when I left. And that's when I met John. That's terrible. This one act really isn't a comedy at all. Most certainly. And as you know, I'm John. John Smith, to be exact. <laughs> Husband to Patty Smith. I had a pretty strict childhood. I was once beaten with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because I had my father a peanut butter and jelly sandwich when he had just bought bologna and wanted a bologna sandwich with extra peanut butter. As soon as I turned 16, I hotwired a neighbor's car and just started driving. I drove from the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic 42 times, finding the occasional odd job along the way. They used to call me Johnny Coast to Coast. And then I met Patty. And I knew it was time to stop traveling. We've been together ever since. That's <laughs> insane! Well, that's not a very nice thing to say. There's one thing that doesn't make sense, though. What's that? How can you afford this nice house with two kids? Please, can I see your necklace just for one second? Not until you tell me everything that's going on here. How did I get into this one act? How did you get into the one act? The author, of course. There's something you're not telling me. This isn't fitting together. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. We are members of an elite community. When goes a mosa tosa. <laughs> John and I, we both are. No, we're not, honey. We're both guardians. Guardians? Guardians of what? Patty, what are you doing? I'm finishing the scene. This isn't the way. This isn't the way. Do you see any other way? What are you guys guarding? The secret diary, of course. Come now, dear. Don't make up stories just to scare her. And this key. What's in the diary? You can't know. You see, you're a liability. You lied to me before. <laughs> what? Before, you lied to me. You're both liars. Well, what are you talking about? So my parents were murdered, yes, but there wasn't just one murder. There were two. And they didn't know I saw their faces. You saw their faces? Stay back, both of you. We had to kill your parents. They had the key to the diary. <laughs> I'm told they were once trusted, but they turned against us. Against the cause. <laughs> <laughs> they were a liability. And now I'm a liability. Are you going to kill me? Now, if you just hand over the key. But you see, it's not that simple. I'm remembering all sorts of things now. Now I know something you don't know. What would you do with the key without this? Where did you get that? Over there on the prop table. I mean, <laughs> under your mattress in the bedroom. Where else? <laughs> it was next to your gun. Looks like the tape's a turn now, huh? Please don't. You'll wake the 
kids. There are no kids. We're on stage. <laughs> of the story, it will bore them to tears. But, but I have the diary! Yes. <laughs> we know. We all know that you made it perfectly clear. And now you're just being redundant. The play is over. In three minutes you can walk over to the prop table, have the diary, the key, and the gun all over again. It makes no difference once the one act is over. This is a terrible one act. I hate it. I'm leaving. John, she has a diary. I know, but it's all right. She'll be back by the next performance. She always is. True. <laughs> There's probably some tea left on the stove. Would you like a cup? I would love one. Why didn't you want to catch that movie again? Oh, let's do it soon. I'm excited to see how it ends. 